Today I'm continuing with my Food Dehydrating 101 series and I'm going to show you how to dehydrate sourdough starter. No special equipment needed. Hi sweet friends, my name is Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. This channel is all about living the simple life by cooking from scratch, making home remedies, and creating a cozy home with thrift store finds. So if you're like me and you like living the simple life, subscribe to my channel and click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. In my last dehydrating video, I talked about the different types of equipment you need to dehydrate, and I'll link to that video so you can review that if you want. But today what I want to focus on is how you can dehydrate something without using any equipment at all, just relying on the air. We don't even need sunshine. And what we're going to dehydrate is a sourdough starter. This is great to have on hand because for if any reason your sourdough starter fails you and you have some that's dehydrated, you can simply add water to it and start feeding it and get it going again. So it's nice to have as a backup. So I've got my sourdough starter here and it's nice and bubbly. And what, what all you're going to need is obviously your sourdough starter and a baking sheet and some parchment paper. Now what I've done is I've put my, um, I made the parchment paper a little bigger than the baking sheet because this way if there's any uh, spillover or whatnot, it won't go onto the um, uh, baking sheet. And all you're going to have to do is simply take a couple ladlefuls of, of your sourdough starter and we're just going to put this right on and I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So after you ladle it on, all you're going to do is just spread it out as thin as you can get it. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get it nice and thin on the parchment paper. And then we'll add another scoop to the other side. Whee! <laughs> and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to spread this out to get it nice and thin. And that's it. Now I'm just going to leave this to air dry. And once it air dries, we'll be able to pull it right off, break it up into pieces, and store it away. Well, here is my sourdough starter all dried, and this took about 24 hours. And one thing I want to mention is it's not required, but I'm just going to move this over here for a minute. I have a cooling rack that fits into my baking sheet, and I do put this on, uh, on into my baking sheet. Uh, and then put the parchment paper on top of it. So if you have one of this, it does help with air circulation. But I, I just want to reassure you, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not required. Your sourdough starter will dry just fine without it. And what you'll see is it's very fragile. See, it'll just break like that. It's beautifully dried. And now I'll show you how to store it. The first thing I like to do is just get a clean uh, canning jar, and this is a wide mouth jar. And I'll just go ahead and start breaking this up into pieces and putting it into the jar to store. And now I've got my jar filled with my dehydrated sourdough starter. Now the next thing I like to do before I seal up my jar is put in one of these oxygen absorbers that'll help keep any moisture from building up in here. Now with the oxygen absorber in there, you can go ahead and just put a canning lid on like this and tighten it and then put it away in your pantry. The other option is if you want, you can also just use one of the storage lids like this. And that's that. And then go ahead and put it away in your pantry. But if you have a food saver or something like that, you can try to pull out as much air out of this as possible. And all you'll need to do is you won't need the canning ring and you won't need the white uh, storage lid. All you'll need to do is put your uh, canning lid onto your jar and then you'll want to use your attachment uh, that came with your food saver for wide mouth jars or if you were using the traditional, the regular size uh, jar, they make that size too. I have the one for wide mouth jars. And all you do at this point is go ahead and put this little device right on top, push it down like that, 
Now, if you're using a regular food saver, you'll have the hose that'll attach to the machine and that'll help pull out the oxygen. The other option is using this very handy, clever little device that Food Saver makes that uh, is just rechargeable. You plug it, has a little cord and you plug it right in. And this you can use in place of your big machine and the hose to pull the oxygen out of uh, jars like this when you're sealing them. And all you do is, here I'll just test it for you so you can see. See? It just makes that kind of noise and you just, it's got a hole down here and you just line that up best you can on top of uh, the jar with this attachment on and then you just start to pull out the air. You'll just hear a little change in sound. Did you hear that? And then you'll know pretty much all the oxygen has been pulled out or all the air has been pulled out. Yeah. It made a nice seal. Then we'll just pull this off and we'll test it to see. Oh yeah, that's a good, good tight seal. So see, a really great seal. Now all you have to do is put this on your pantry shelf and if for any reason you need extra sourdough starter or your sourdough starter fails, you'll just pull out some of this. You'll just wedge this off with the can opener and take out what you need, rehydrate it with some water, start feeding it, and you're back in business with a good sourdough starter. And once you take out what you need, you just put your lid back on and go through the same process again to seal, out, to seal it up pull out all the air, seal it up, and put it back on your pantry shelf. And if you want to learn how to make sourdough starter in the first place, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I share how to make my foolproof sourdough starter. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.